have one question for you, buddy. Why you not married? Uh, ask me again. I'm not married. I'm not married because uh, you know, buying buying vaginas a little bit cheaper these days. <laughs> Niggas is wildin'. Now, women out here, especially for me. Women out here, they want the Birkin bags. They want to eat like three times a day. Fuck. Right? They want to go out places, and then they don't want to go like regular places. They want to go to all expensive ass places. Right? They want to go to the expensive places, movies, and you know, first class tickets to shit. They want to go on vacation. Right? And if you don't look good, they they want to like pretend that they got the shit themselves. You know, so there's a lot of things that come with, you know, when I can just pay like 200, 250. <laughs> get, right to, get right to the good stuff. Why are you not married? Bye, Felicia. The fuck I want to get married for and do all this extra shit? Buy a house and we got to buy you a car. I got to call you on gas money because most likely you ain't going to have a job. Yo, broke ass. No, 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 no. I'll just rather pay the 250, 350, 450, whatever it is at that point. It's, it's going to be a lot cheaper, I swear. And then your wife ain't going to get you the pussy that I, I, can, I can possibly get um, buying. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know that. I mean, that's the only way I can answer. It's the Lucky Libra in the building and family. This is an example of how transactional somebody with a lot of Saturn energy can get. Shout out to Gilbert Arenas, retired NBA player, multi-millionaire. He signed one of the biggest contracts in NBA history. So look, look at him. Saturn energy is working out for him in that perspective. But, you know, this is not to agree or disagree with any of the points he made. I'm just using him as, as an example so you can understand how to gauge how people develop certain perspectives for things all right he's a sun in capricorn saturn influence so we already know what comes with that earthy stable wants to build this and the third and could be very transactional with anything it's connected to in his life but he also has his mercury and venus retrograde in aquarius all right when you got that venus retro when you got venus in aquarius there's one thing being retrograde so he might have to revise and reflect upon some of them statements he made throughout life but when it comes to Venus being Aquarius, now you got Venus being transactional. She deals with love and relating and caring and connecting and pleasures. But she's an Aquarius now. So she becomes a bit more transactional. She looks at people like, what could you do for me? What have you done for me lately? All right. These people can jump into a lot of in unconventional relationships. All right. They can break a lot of societal norms when it comes into their relationship activity. So. When I jumped into his chart, I already knew he was a Capricorn sign. I didn't know he had that Venus in Aquarius. That makes a whole lot of sense, all right? And then when we look at that North Node right there, right there, we look at that North Node in Cancer, that could already indicate some issues in the home environment, especially with the mother. So the fact that he's a Capricorn son, his outlook on family may be a little distorted based on his upbringing, all right? So I just don't want to assume he has that type of trauma. He may have a, a great relationship with the mother and father. But when you got that North Node in Cancer, it's very likely that you have to work on that relationship, uh, you know, with the maternal influence in your life. And lastly, guys, lastly, he got Mars, Saturn, and Pluto in Libra. What was his birthday? He was born in... What was his birthday? Because I think he was born the same year as... Uh, but yeah, guys, anyways, Mars and Libra, very hectic. All right. Gonna can be very opposing extreme and, uh, rebellious in relationship matters and can, act, uh, attract that as well. Attract people that are pretty individual and extreme with their outlooks on things in relationship energy. All right. So you got to navigate that both ways, but having that placement in general, Mars and Libra is going to bring a lot of extreme situations in your relationships. And it's usually because of a clash of individuality in some type of shape or form. But then he got part of the Pluto in Libra generation and then he's part of the Saturn in Libra generation so you got that type of stellium in libra that's more transactional energy with sat with him being a part of the saturn and libra generation because they put their relationships in two boxes they organize them all right if you just a friend you just a friend if you somebody i'm dating somebody i'm dating okay if you somebody I do business with you just somebody I do business with saturn in libra generation saturn in the seventh house people that's how they navigate relationship energy and they could be transactional practical in the most extreme sense all right then you got pluto and libra so this generation goes through a lot of transformations and they jump into a lot of uh they initiate a lot of journeys dealing with their shadow work and really understanding their subconscious through their relationship life as well but having this alignment can also show that you can build a grasp for being a little manipulative being a little power and controlling in relationships all right but nonetheless guys this is an example of how transactional saturn energy can get in your relationships this is it 
if and it's the same way i know this was a male a male capricorn a male with a venus and aquarius expressing this but there's women out here with these type of alignments and when they connect with a dude it's like all right what you making how much you make a year what resources you got what can you do for me and what have you done for me lately all right and i've been there so i don't want people looking at this just thinking um you know there's not always an energetic foundation behind how we express ourselves and our perspectives that we develop in life especially when it comes into relationship energies y'all already know what it is it's the lucky libra peace